Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure AWS SQS with AWS Lambda. So our requirement is whenever there is a message in AWS SQS, we want to trigger this Lambda function and want to process that message. So let's quickly see how to configure this. Okay, so um, I'm in my AWS console and I'm, I have opened my uh, SQS console. So this is the queue that I'm going to use. So whenever um, there is a message in this queue, I want a Lambda function to be triggered. So uh, first let's quickly uh, create a Lambda function and let's call it uh, SQS Lambda something. I mean, I can name it anything you want. And uh, I'm going to leave all the default permissions and click on create function. Okay, so this is the function that we want to trigger whenever uh, there is a message in this SQS queue. Okay, so I let's wait for the function to get created. Okay, now the function is successfully created. Now let's go to SQS and click on Lambda triggers here and click on configure Lambda trigger. Okay, and you can select which function do you want to trigger whenever there is a message in this queue. Okay, so I'm going to select this SQS Lambda. That's the only function in my account and click on save. Now you're going to uh, get an error saying that this Lambda doesn't have permissions, okay, necessary permissions. So the thing is this Lambda function should have, I mean the IAM role which is attached to this Lambda should have permissions to read uh, and delete the messages from SQS queue. Only then you can configure this. So how to do that? Let me go to this uh, Lambda console and uh, click on configure. Okay, and uh, you can see that role name here. Okay, click on the uh, IAM role. And uh, you need to edit this IAM role to grant the permissions for SQS. Okay, so once you are here, click on add permissions and click on create inline policy. So what we're going to do is we are going to create, uh, give the SQS read and uh, delete permissions for this IAM role. Okay, click on choose service and type SQS, select SQS and what are the permissions that you want to give, okay? You can select all SQS actions, I mean, uh, but like if you want, you can just select read and write, that should be enough here, okay? But if you want, you can select, okay? And for the resources, you want to give only permission for the, from that SQS queue, okay? So let me copy the ARN of this SQS, okay? And paste it here and click on add. So now what we have done is we have given the IAM rule permissions to basically read and write messages to this SQS queue. Okay. And click on review policy and click on create policy. Okay. We need to give uh, some name. So let's call it SQS Lambda policy. Let's click on create policy now. Okay. So now the policy is created and added to this IAM role, which is our SQS Lambda role. Okay, now our Lambda will have the permissions. Now let me go back to my uh, SQS console and try the uh, creating the Lambda trigger again. Okay, click on configure and click on select this Lambda and click on save. So now if you see this was uh, successfully configured. Now whenever you send a message to this uh, SQS queue, this Lambda will be triggered. Okay, now um, let us test this and uh, let me send a message to this AWS, I mean uh, SQS queue and see if it actually triggers that Lambda, okay? So uh, before I do that, let me just add a code here to print that event, right? So, so this is the Lambda which will get it, right? So let's just print the event that we get, okay? From SQS, okay? Let me click on deploy. Okay, now I'll uh, go back to this SQS and send this message hi from SQS, okay? Click on send message. Now let's go to this Lambda. If see if uh, it got triggered, click on view uh, logs in CloudWatch. Okay, seems like uh, it is triggered. So click on this. So if you see here, we have text. So this is the event which it printed, right? So if you see uh, this is a record and there is a message ID, receipt handle, um, somewhere we should have body as well. So yep. If you see here, there is a body uh, high from SQS that we sent from the uh, SQS console. So if you see here, the Lambda got triggered when we sent a message to SQS queue. So this is how you uh, configure AWS SQS with AWS Lambda. This is very helpful um, when you uh, want to build an application which needs to process a message as soon as it comes in the SQS, right? 
So you can uh, do this configuration and uh, you know build your application. So that's it for this video. I hope you uh, found this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.